everybody, Dishnet34 here, host of the This Week in Perfect Team Weekly Showdown and the Perfect Team Weekly Prep on the Out of the Park Developments Twitch channel. I'm here to talk to you today about one of my favorite aspects of the Out of the Park Baseball modding community, and that is the custom 3D stadiums made by users on the Out of the Park Developments forums. This part of the Out of the Park Developments forums is one of my favorite places on that entire site. There's a lot of talent that, a lot of talent, a lot of time that goes into making these custom stadiums that I've been using for a lot of my teams, both in Perfect Team and in the single player game with um, expansion teams and custom leagues and everything. So I want you guys to be able to enjoy those custom stadiums as well. So today I'm going to be showing you how to download and import custom stadiums from the Out of the Park Developments forums into your game. Now I'm using the Windows version of the game here. It might be just a little bit different from Max, but it's pretty much the same process. Um, I'm going to show you how to import them with the Steam game and with the standalone game. So let's get started. So first things first, what you want to do is you want to go to the Out of the Park Mods Forum, Out 3D Models Forum on the Out of the Park Developments Forums. There's a lot of there's a lot of threads here with a lot of different stadiums in it. Uh, let's say you want to download one of the many 3D ballparks by Sylvan14 and Adia, and he's got a lot of them here. A lot of the best one of the some of the big modders in this community have done a lot of stadiums over the years, and it could be overwhelming. There's a lot of historic stadiums, there's a lot of custom stadiums, fictional stadiums, everything. So let's say you wanted to download, let's say, uh, Cisco Field. So you click on the download link that is graciously provided by our modder here. And you choose the download folder you want to go into. Now, I personally have a stadium downloads folder. You can download this, uh, fo this anywhere you like. Um, some of these, some of these will be in RAR files. Some of these will be in zip files. We're going to show you how to do this with a RAR file here first. So you go ahead and save it, and go ahead and open up the folder in which it is contained. Now, with RAR files compared to zip files, you can open these with either a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. It depends on which you use. I'm, I personally use 7-Zip. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this RAR file here for Cisco Field. Now it shows up with a folder here, a nice neat little folder here that you can go ahead and drag to where it needs to go. So depending on which version of the game you have, either the standalone version or the Steam version, uh, the pathway is a little bit different. Um, if you're in the standalone game, you can go to Documents, go to Out of the Park Developments, go to the game of your choosing. Then you go to the ballparks folder and then you click on the models folder. And once you're there, you can go ahead and drag and drop. If this is a RAR file and you're opening this up, drag and drop it into the game. It'll show up like this. Open it up and there's quite a few, quite a few things here. Textures folder, all that good stuff, all the things that you'd need to import this into your game. Now it's officially in your folder at this point. Now, say you have something that's in a zip file. So let's go back to our stadium downloads folder here. And there's quite a few ones that are in a zip file. Now, with Windows, you can do stuff like, you know, extracting to the folder itself. So let's say with Nickerson Field here, you can extract all, uh, go ahead and browse around a little bit. It takes me right to the models folder here just because I'm that kind of guy. Select folder, and you can choose whether or not to extract the files and complete. So go ahead and extract. It'll take just a little bit to get it in because there's some there's some big files, and a, and a lot of these are big files. Not going to lie to you here. So it'll take a few seconds to get it to uh, to go. And we can go ahead and go back to our models folder and Nickerson Field will be right down there. Now there are some instances where, you know, there are some stadiums that don't have that neat folder and they have the um, 
all the stuff that is in this folder, the textures, the MTL file, the 3D, the et cetera, et cetera, it, right in the zip folder. So that means you would need to create a new folder for yourself to put into this, into this folder. So you can go ahead. So let's say, for example, that you've downloaded, let's say, oh, where is it? There it is this Pampaka Park folder, which if you open up the zip file, it doesn't have that file, that uh, folder that you can drag on over easily. So let's go ahead and go back to our models folder here. I got a quick access shortcut just because I can. Go ahead and name it, name your folder first. Let's say Pampaka Park. Then we can go back to our stadium downloads. Go ahead and click extract all. And we'll go ahead and browse over to that folder, that Pampaka Park folder. Select folder. Show the extracted files and complete. Extract the files, which will take just a little bit, like we mentioned earlier. And there they are, all neat and tidy in the folder. No extraneous folders whatsoever. Now, if you're importing this into the Steam version of the game, there's a little bit of a different path you need to take to get to the models folder where you can save it. Now, I now there are stadium there are stadium mods in the creator workshop with Steam. Um, I'm not an expert with that, but this is how I've learned to import stadiums into the game. So let's go ahead and go to the folder that um, that you've saved your game on Steam at. So let's go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, then select the folder there, go to Data, then you go to Ballparks, go to Models, and that's how you get to the Models folder in the Steam version of the game. So let's go ahead and repeat the process here with Cisco Field here, just for example here. And we'll go ahead and drag and drop Cisco in there. And Cisco Field now in that folder. So now you're wondering, okay, so now that I have these folders in here, how do I actually import them into my save? Well, I'm glad you asked. So you go to your game, and I've already got a game loaded up here, so we'll go ahead and go into that game. We'll take a little bit, and I'll show you how to import those stadiums into the game itself into your save file because it's it's fairly simple to do and there's a neat little trick you can do to get a few of the things that you need right off the bat so it'll take a little bit for this to get loaded up because my computer is eternally slow and we are now in our save file. So we can go ahead and I'm just using MLB as an example. I, I go, you can go to team settings, go to edit ballpark. And personally, I like to, I like to just select one of the no league ballparks that are up here at the top here to kind of, you know, test out stadiums before I actually import them into a game, but here's how you do this. So you go to Actions, and there's a button here that says Manually Import Data from File into this Park. Now these, fi these files are called .prk files, and they pretty much have the data that you would see here on the left side, you know, the ballpark name, the type of stadium it is, the surface, the ballpark factors, the dimensions. And we'll import the 3D model here in a little bit, but this is why I do first to get that stadium in. So let's uh, go to our Cisco field example here. Click on the PRK file that is in that folder that you have, depending on where you saved it. And you can navigate it, navigate there using, it's easy to navigate. You just go to, like, you go to D or thing there and all that good stuff. So you go ahead and load in the PRK file. 
and it'll import that in. So like we like we mentioned, it brought in all the basic information, the ballpark factors, and the ballpark dimensions. Now to actually import the 3D model, you go to this 3D model tab here. Which will take a little bit to load because, you know, it's loading a 3D model. There's a lot of stuff here. Now, sometimes when you import the .prk file, it will automatically load in the 3D model. But if you have, but if that doesn't happen, you can go ahead and go to load 3D model. You navigate to the folder that the models folder. You go down to the folder that you want. You click on the OBJ file of it. Now, OBJ files, I do believe, are the only file type that will work with importing these files, importing the 3D stadiums into the game. So you go ahead and load that in. It'll take just a little bit, and then you have your 3D model. Now, there are some times where you might run into maybe some black surfaces or something like that, like in the stands or somewhere like that. What you want to do is you want to make sure that in that um, folder that we had open, the folder that you download, you want to make sure that the textures folder is in there properly. So it has to be in this, for, this naming convention here, like say Cisco Field Textures. Don't change the name of that folder or else things will get messed up. Um, so one of the big things to check is to make sure that textures folder is in there properly and then you'll have your stadium. So hopefully that was very, hopefully this will help you guys um, figure out how to get your 3D model into the game, download it, import it, use it in the game, and you can enjoy the 3D stadiums like I do in my games. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate y'all watching. This is the first in a series of tutorials on Out of the Park 22 on how to import stuff, how to play the game. I hope you watch those other videos too. Thank you so much for watching. This has been DishNet34, signing out.